I just wanted to make a quick video on the Xbox merger with Blizzard. Um, I thought initially it might be a bad idea because of uh, Activision already being involved with Blizzard and them making a bunch of weird decisions. I thought that another uh, hand in the pocket or just like another company involved would cause too much confusion and turmoil and, and it would affect the quality of the games. But in reading further about it, it doesn't seem like that's the case. It seems like they're just gonna, the CEO of Xbox is just gonna be like, uh, just report to me on what you guys are up to every now and then, but for the most part, you guys are gonna have creative control and stuff. So I do think it's gonna be a good thing because the decisions that Xbox have been making recently have been phenomenal. I mean, with everything with the Xbox app, if you pay for the monthly subscription for that, you get a huge selection of good quality games for like a bargain of a price. Uh, I know a lot of people that are swearing by it and, and I know they've been were giving out like free trials of it for a while and then a bunch of like me and a few friends uh, tried out the free trial and I think we've all made the decision that we're going to keep going with it. I mean, what's it like $12 a month and for $144 a year you get, I mean for that price you would get two games and then probably get bored of them. At least this one, if you get bored of some of the games on the platform, you can just try out a bunch of other games. And now that Blizzard games are going to be on it and a lot of people have been getting the subscription service, I think it's going to help with a lot of the games that have kind of been uh, dwindling in their communities. I know like World of Warcraft, the, the classics, they kind of have a huge population to begin with and then they kind of dwindle as time goes on. I think that this game being on the app will increase the amount of people playing that. I'm sure a lot of people don't even know that you can play classic without having to buy the game uh, whatsoever. I mean, you have to pay for the monthly subscription. I'm pretty sure you're still gonna have to do that when Xbox takes over. But we'll see. Definitely for the newest expansion, Shadowlands, the Xbox merger is going to be a huge thing for that because a lot of people haven't been buying Shadowlands because so many people have been saying shitty things about it. But if people are paying for the classic subscription anyway, then they might as well play uh, Shadowlands because they got the game for free as well. I mean, not for free, but they're paying for the Xbox subscription anyway. Um, games like StarCraft, StarCraft, Blizzard has openly said they've stopped supporting that game, whatever that means. But people have stopped talking about StarCraft, but if it's on this app now and people don't have to pay for it, I think it's going to boost that community as well. As well as the Diablo 2 community, a lot of people have been complaining about the support that Diablo 2 is getting and the decisions that they're making, especially with uh, weird things like the whole character thing like if you log in with a character and then get booted out because of a disconnection thing or if you just want to transfer an item from one character to the other it makes you wait it gives you like a countdown timer before you can actually jump on the other character which is a huge pain in the ass but things like that make people talk shit about the game and then people don't go and buy it but if they have it anyway because they pay for the subscription i feel like a lot of people will just ignore the things being said about it and enjoy the game because as far as remasters go that's a really good remaster i mean they didn't really change anything about it and that's what i like about it because diablo 2 was a flawless game as well not flawless i mean it had an issue with bots in it and i think it still does but not nearly as bad as it was towards the tail end of Diablo 2's lifespan. People have also been talking about controller support and that now World of Warcraft is going to be able to be played on an Xbox with a controller. I don't think that's the case. I, I think it's still going to be a mouse and keyboard, which you can attach a mouse and keyboard to an Xbox, so maybe you can play on the Xbox. I just feel like there's way too many things you need to control uh, with the game that a controller is just not enough buttons on the controller. So yeah, ultimately I think the Xbox merger is going to be a positive thing as opposed to a negative thing, but I don't know. What do you guys think about it? What am I overlooking here? What am I not thinking about? Let me know in the comments down below, but until next time, y'all just keep on questing.